we are learning the art of wheel turning. Is that right? Throwing on the wheel. Throwing yeah, on, on the, the wheel. wheel. Jeez, <laughs> I'm just not good at this pottery stuff. Okay, so I know everybody thinks of the wheel when they think of pottery. So we start it by kicking our foot to get it spinning, mm -hmm. right? Yep. And then once it's going, yep. put then, your foot up. Okay. Then you, the first part is called centering. and. That is one of the hardest parts for beginners to learn. Okay. And what you want to do is get the clay perfectly even in the middle. And for that, you need to prop up your elbows. Okay. Okay, because you want to have a lot of uh, strength in your hands. Right. And cover the clay from the top. Put your thumbs on the top. Put my thumbs on. on the sides. And then actually either push towards the center. Okay. Okay, now push with your, put your elbows down there. Okay. And you push towards the center and you kind of squeeze and you bring the clay up into a cone. Okay. Okay, we call that what? coning. <laughs> and, okay, you bring it up and then you bring it back down. <laughs> okay. <laughs> And Why you doesn't can mine look see? like yours? <laughs> <laughs> Actually, you're doing quite well. Now, what you need to do is keep your thumbs on top. Okay. Whoops, no. Oh! <laughs> so easy, <laughs> 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 And you have to keep your hands <laughs> hands wet all the time. Okay. Otherwise, it, they catch and you, you shear off the clay. Like okay. what is <laughs> So if, if someone at home watching is interested in learning um, how to become part of the Potter's Guild, how can they do that? Well, uh, we have, uh, they can call a member of our executive. We don't have a website yet. We're trying to, to do that. Well, and we're also setting up a Facebook page. Yeah. And uh, people are welcome from all over the valley. Yeah. Uh, we have members from Eganville, Pembroke, Catawawa, and uh, it's a great place. You get a key for $125 a year. Mm -hmm. So you can come 24 hours seven if you want. R really? And you can come any time of the yeah, day? Yeah, so if you can't sleep at night, you know, come on down and make a pot. <laughs> and you can do everything here from uh, not only the, the pinch pot technique that, mm -hmm. um, that I was learning with Lynn a little bit earlier in the morning, but you can also work on the wheel. That's right. And then you can glaze the pots. Right. Right, and they'll get fired in the kiln as well, and uh, it's a great place to make Christmas presents or birthday presents, and eventually a lot of our members go on, they get proficient enough and they sell their pots. Oh, really? Yeah. Now, so, you mentioned you have been a member from since 1968, 1968 yes. is that right? What keeps you coming back? Why do you love potting, well, potting so much? there is so much possibility with clay. Uh, there's so much creative uh, possibility. You can do functional stuff, you can do sculptural stuff, or just pure sort of artistic expression. So, and it's, it's a very relaxing um, hobby as well. Don't you find it's great just having your hands in the, in the mud? Yes. And it's, and it's sort of a just nice feeling to have that, that clay. It's so smooth and... But it requires a great deal of patience. Yes. I can see. Yes. Which Unfortunately, I think people join and they think immediately, okay, I'll be able to, you know, make whatever they had in mind, a teapot or yeah. whatever. And so um, it really takes, it takes time. probably a year if you're doing it, you know, every day or something right. like that. So. Well, coming up a little bit later in the show, we'll uh, show you how these pots get glazed and then uh, how they look when they come out of the kiln. Don't go anywhere. There's a lot more coming up from Deep River Potter's Kiln.